It's been almost two years and I hadn't heard anything. And all of a sudden, this thing may be dropping next month. Yes, yes, my people. Welcome to episode 26 of your Sneaker and Lifestyle Podcast, Kicks Chronicles. I'm your boy, Prozac. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us one more time. Before we get into the interview, I had one little piece of news that I wanted to chat to you guys about because I've been looking forward to this for a minute. It's been almost two years. And I hadn't heard anything. And all of a sudden, this thing may be dropping next month. Yeah, so let's talk about it. Uh, some of you may know already, but I'm talking about Mr. Jerry Lorenzo. Jerry Lorenzo, fear of God, yeah? Almost two years ago, almost two years ago, Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God signed a deal with Adidas to produce a basketball line, yeah? To produce a basketball line. Now, two years have passed. Haven't really seen very much happen. Um, in terms of production, it's fair to say the landscape has somewhat changed in the meantime. In fact, it's kind of come completely full circle. (laughs) But obviously, because of the inactivity throughout the last two years, it left people wondering and a few rumours started to swell that maybe there'd been some form of creative difficulties or differences that had been causing the delay. I'm here today to tell you that you can put those fears aside. Fear of God is good, but the fear of this not coming out, you don't need that. Because it is coming out. The man himself has said that in April 2023, as in literally next month, they're about to drop a ready-to-wear line and a performance sneaker. Not a basketball sneaker, not a performance sneaker, right? Now, let's get into this sneaker because there actually is a sample right? Video and some photos have come out of a sample and the keen-eyed among you are going to (laughs) recognise it's kind of reminiscent of uh, another collaborator's work, (laughs) shall we say, right? So I'm going to throw up some pictures on screen and you guys can, you guys can be the judge, right? So for me, looking at this shoe, there is a heavy, weighty, influence from the Yeezy 750. Very, very heavy influence from the Yeezy 750, right? Um, For those that are listening, I'm going to try and describe the shoe. So imagine the Yeezy 750 is kind of like a boot-like silhouette. So the top half is kind of like a black mesh, black laces as well, uh, with a black strap going across the middle, right? Now, the toe box is white. It's kind of suede looking with three black stripes okay obviously because it's adidas now the midsole is kind of translucent looking and it looks like it's encasing some boot as well so it looks like a very cool shoe when it came out 10 years ago as a (laughs) 750 but i'm not i'm not mad at it i mean it's clear to see it's taking a massive amount of influence from the easy 750 I mean, Adidas themselves took a massive amount of influence from the Yeezy 750. And it's funny, we actually talk about that with Shade Grey in the Adidas Tubular. The Adidas Tubular is basically a knockoff of the Yeezy 750 anyway. But in this particular shoe, depending on whether the sample is representative of how the shoe is going to actually be, they use some, some different materials. So it's not exactly the same. They haven't used the exact same suede and they haven't used a zip on the side, but it is very close from what I can see. So I ain't mad at the shoe. I like the Yeezy 750 silhouette and this shoe, the the the, the photos and the videos that we've seen, it's a nice looking shoe. It's an interesting looking shoe. Like I think this shoe could actually bang. It's actually pretty cool. But I can think of one person that might have a small issue with this shoe coming out and his name rhymes with Barnier Lest. So <laughs> let's see what my man says when this shoe uh, drops right we'll keep our eye out uh, on all of that for when it drops next month thank you for listening to this episode of kicks chronicles please make sure to like comment subscribe share rate review and all that good stuff and remember full video version is available on youtube audio versions available on spotify and apple podcasts